Well guys, this is where we're fishing. I'm gonna park the van at the top of the top of the slip there. I'm just gonna walk down with the rod stand and the rods. And we're gonna chop the rods on the end of the slipway here. Sort of cast in that sort of direction. There is a bit of wind here. Hopefully guys, fingers crossed, it won't be too bad. So let's get the rods out, let's get everything ready, and then let's get down. Right guys, look, that's some of the bait that I dug earlier on after work. Some of it is nice big stuff, look. That's a nice big log worm there. Some of them are pretty fat as well. I mean, that's quite a fatty. So is that one. Decent sized log, guys. So we're gonna get these on the hooks. All we're using is a running ledger with a bead to, I think that's a three ounce weight, that one. I like using these because they sit on the sand, they don't move around too much. Down to a size two hook. And that's it guys, so we're gonna get this log on. There you go, two nicely baited hooks there guys with log worm. Nice fat stuff. Let's get these down and get them in the water. Hopefully guys, it looks like good good territory for bass and gilt So, yep, let's get down there. Possible, possible bite there, guys. That was a possible bite. False alarm guys, false alarm! Right guys, that was definitely a bite. A good couple of knocks there. We're just gonna leave it a minute, but that was definitely, definitely a bite. Just gone eye water, the dark set in there. It's the perfect time for the bass to start feeding. Fingers crossed guys, whatever that was comes back, takes the bait. Hopefully we'll be getting you back in a minute guys. I've just missed the fish on this one guys. Oh no, he might still be there. If he is, it's only small. There you go guys, first fish, little basil there, not a uh, not a massive size obviously, then a little schoolie, but guys, it's the first fish, yeah, look at that, like I say, it's only small, it's still nice to see, we're going to get him straight back, see you later. Oh, 
Oh yes baby, this is what they came for. Check out this bass. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a lovely bass. Check that one out guys. Check that beauty out. That's a couple of pound all day long. All day. Let's be careful here. But Got the hook right by my finger. There. I honestly thought that could have been a gilt. We'll get him off the hook. We'll give you a better glimpse. There you go, guys. There's a better glimpse of it. What a cracking fish that is. Look at that. I am well chuffed with that. That's what we come for, guys. One for the table. And he's coming home for the table. Let's try and get another one. Majority of the time with bass and things like that, you'll know if you're getting a bite. You can tell, tell the difference between a wind and, and a proper bite from a fish. But like I said, they're continuously moving in the wind. So what was that? Was that a bite? We'll bring it back guys if we get any more. Definitely bites guys. One guys, another fish, only a small one. Only another small bass guys, but another bass is another bass. There we go, another tiny little basso there. Get the hook out of him. There we are guys, okay? the third little baby bass there. We're gonna quick get him back in the water. Oh, sorry mate. We're gonna quick get him back in the water, get some bait on that hook, and get it back out, guys. And try for one more bass before we go home. Hey, how's it going, guys? We're back again. Jason here from Inshore Fishing. Right, look at that. That is absolutely lovely. Hopefully, guys, that's gonna produce some bass tonight. Um, it's the second night. You might have watched my last video. Um, we'll basically add some bait left, so this is a different night, and I've come down with the hope of catching a uh, nice bass again, guys. Now, I went down the beach today fishing, and I got snagged on a rock, and as I was reading in, the handle snapped off my reel, so I was gutted about that. Uh, it was getting a bit old, but yeah, still gutted about it. And then I went to see Johnny 500, and he was like, here you go, mate, you can have that, and gave me a brand new reel in the box. So big shout out to Johnny 500 for that guys. Tonight and hopefully christening it with a nice bass. I'm going to stop chatting now guys, I'm going to get the rods out, I'm going to get them set up, I'm going to get them blasted out and fingers crossed guys we get some fish. See you in a sec when we get all set up. The rods are all set up, we're just using running ledges again, same as last time with a 3 or 4 ounce, I think, that is. I think that's a 3 ounce out them weights. Just running down guys to a nice hook full of logworm there. And exactly the same on the other hook as well, guys. So we're going to get these blasted out, and fingers crossed, we get ourselves a nice bass. What a lovely evening. number one out let's get the second one out guys now i'm not launching them that far there's no need for it Oh, 
Right, that's both rods in the water, guys. Now just time to wait, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we get ourselves a bass. Should be a good night, I reckon. I've got a good feeling. Right, just sit back and wait till, wait till the action happens. Pretty sure I just had a nice knock on that left hand rod. This one here. I'm just gonna give it a minute and hopefully something comes up. We're getting a lot of wind so the bells are continuously moving but you can always tell the difference of a bite, it's more aggressive. Fingers crossed guys, something comes on. Right guys, that all happened a little bit too quick, but there we go, first fish of the night. Little bass. We're gonna get him off the hook and get him back. That rod started going a bit. This rod nearly took off guys, honestly. The way it went, for such a little fish like that, we're gonna quick get him off the hook. Get him back. There we are, guys. Let me get a little. There we go, guys. Lovely little bass there. We're going to get him straight back, get some bait on that line, and get him back out. Bites on this one. Literally, I've just sorted that one out. Going again, look. Fish on, guys. Second fish. It's only a small one again, I think. I think it's even smaller. Yeah, that's even smaller than the first one. It's still nice to see. Like I say, that other rod was. I literally baited this up, got it in the water, and the other one was um, starting to go off as well. They're turning up, guys. Let's get him back. Fish on guys, bus number three. Here we are guys, bass number three, look, slowly getting bigger. Slowly but surely. All the rods are going. Here you go guys, bass number three. Get him back. Get on to another one. That's not bad. Three little bass, one after the other there. It's high tide now. So from any time, well from now since we've had them, we should start to get a few more and hopefully some of the bigger ones show up guys as well, fingers crossed. But yeah, that's not bad. We had three bass last night. One of just over two pounds, and uh, we've had three schooly bass tonight so far. So yeah, it's not been not been a bad couple of trips, guys. So fingers crossed, we get some some more, with some bigger stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll be happy with that, guys. We've got a couple of mates that want a couple of bass, so yeah, fingers crossed, we get a couple of decent sized ones. 
and uh, they can have one for the table as well. So we'll bring it back hopefully when we get some more fish, guys. Fish number four, guys. There we go, guys, again. Oh, that was me with the rod. Again, guys, muffin massive. But it's another bass. Bass number four. Get him off. Get him back in the water. There we go guys, oh, they're lively the old little ones, well, there we go, another lovely little bass there guys, we'll get him back, get the rod back out, let's hopefully get his dad or his granddad. Fish on guys, this is on the new reel, I weren't sure if we were going to christen it or not. Check that out guys, I thought it was a better fish, it's a conga reel. Not a big one. Right in the middle of the beach that is. Well, say in the middle of the beach, right at the top of the beach for a conga. We'll get him off the hook. There we are guys. Little conga whip. Not what we wanted, but oh well, it's a fish, it's another species. Well right, guys, that's the end of this session. We had four bass there and one small conger reel, so that weren't a bad little bass session to be fair. Um, I lost that one when I got caught up with a rod stand. Good chance I could have caught it. They're only small bass. There was a couple there I'd missed um, just before I finished up as well. So never mind. But four's better than nothing guys. Four four bass and one conger. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Three bass on the last video as well. So yeah, no, it's good guys. So Cheers for coming along guys, I appreciate you all staying tuned in and subscribing to the channel. Uh, yeah, nice one guys, I'll uh, catch you on the next one eh. Take it easy, stay safe, see you next time. See you later.